what's up guys it is max will bring you guys one more video before we start tonight's cwl matchup and um trying out a couple new things as you can clearly see i have a green screen now so we'll be able to do some fun stuff um have already been trying out some fun stuff hopefully the whale watching is going to be pretty good tonight also i sound a bit different i know my microphone is broken i already told you guys in the last video so i'm going to be using this uh, headset microphone for now i've already ordered a new one so hopefully that will be ar arriving like at the beginning of next week anyways i just want to show you guys a couple of quick attacks um my favorite ones from this war against the Dutch force we won <laughs> 107-107 however a really poor war <laughs> like ah um, we had an 11 versus 11 2 star attempt to win it outright um, failed that <laughs> maybe that was me who knows maybe I didn't check to see that this was a hound cc and uh, queen walked right in it who knows <laughs> and then Dutch force had a 10v10 attempt in the end, 10v10 two star attempt uh, <laughs> to win it. And failed that one as well. So, yeah, a great war, as you guys can already tell. Um, not very many 10v10s on either side. Um, no 11 vs 11 triples. Um, such a bad 10v11 performance. We had to two star like four of their. <laughs> so, three or four of their 11s with 11, so. Yeah, but actually it's still a couple of good attacks, just like not uh, a little bit lower on the war base. So we're going to be checking those out. Got a couple 10 v 10s couple 9 v 9s that I, sh I still want to show you guys. This one, first of all, I believe this base was in a video, not quite sure. But yeah, Velvi coming in for this one and uh, gets himself a piece of the cake. And uh, yeah, a nice Queen Charge Lalo, so certainly something to watch, of course. Comes in with the Queen over here. BK already in as well, helping out with the funnel, helping for uh, with some tanking there for the wall breakers, of course. And uh, yeah, by the way, guys, I don't know where this, um, where is it? Where this is supposed to go? Is it supposed to be here, here, here? You guys, let me know. Should it be smaller? Like should it be like this, or should it be like the? No, not like that. But. Um, I don't know, I'm fiddling around with a lot of stuff. I think down here is actually, well, you cannot really see the, um, where is it there? The total destruction. See, I can show so many things now. That's so much fun. Um, if I put it here, I guess that's here, or maybe is, is that better over here? I don't know, that sort of blocks the troop bar. See, you cannot see anything right now. I don't know, I'm messing around with a lot of stuff. I think over here is actually a pretty good position, maybe. We'll see. Um... Yeah, anyways, let's uh, scroll over here and watch uh, Valvi's Lalo as he makes his way in. Beautiful queen charts, uh, queen charts, queen charges, you can see, uh, making his way in there. Um, the queen even gets the second Inferno Tower out of the base. The loons absolutely crushing through it as well. And yeah, very nice attack. As I said, I think we had a video on this one, not quite sure though. But uh, yeah, whenever you face clans from... Fair play war clans or any yeah most likely bases are gonna get rerun and somehow we have some people who are actually pretty good at finding those bases so I think that helped out this time but still a very good execution and a nice rate by Velvi so good job on that we've got where's my sheet there two down seventeen we've got yo yo and this one actually a fresh hit which is why I thought it was so cool and which I which is why I want to show it. Um, yeah, completely fresh, no scout. We had, did we have advantage for this one? Let me check, guys. Let me check. War match, help me out. Isn't War match the greatest uh, website ever, guys? I like it so much. Um, War match. The only thing is, it takes some time to load up. That's that sometimes. Uh, yeah, that sometimes is a bit annoying, but yeah. Dutch force, here we go. We had uh, 110, once again I spun actually, I'm the spin master. And uh, we once again had 110 advantage, so to, I'm pretty happy with my spinning this week. I spun two wars and four tunnel tens advantage if you combine both of those wars. So <laughs> yeah, uh, whenever I spin, look out enemy clans because you're going to be at a disadvantage. Uh, but yeah, we had an extra 10. So I guess if we sort of 
take that off Dutch force one whatever I don't know it's still gonna be and I gotta address this actually let's check that out between these attacks here uh, as you watch yo-yo after this one I'm gonna have to point something out about this victory which is actually pretty important guys and actually I should ask if we have a plan yet hmm yeah, that's, I gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> By the way, as I have war match open right here, I didn't want to screenshot it and put it in here because <laughs> it doesn't look too good if I show the stats for this one. Uh, yeah, so um, what did I mean to say? I meant to say 4 10 v 10s on either side. Yeah, <laughs> really poor, but beautiful with the swag case right here, Yo-Yo. With the fresh hit on number 17. Very nicely done by him. And uh, yeah. Yes, there goes the swag. Down there. It's right there. You can still see it. Alright, now you can't. So this win. Um, it was actually win number 399. Check it out. We should... Uh, how can I show it? There. There. No, I can't. Uh, you guys know where to find the wins. I'm still str still messing around with this. This this video is so retarded because I'm doing so much stuff. Still, you know, I'm I'm starting to figure out this. What can I do with the green screen as I'm recording a video? Well, who cares? But yeah, the the 399 win wins. So the next win that we get is going to be number 400. So I don't know if we have an old school arranged for that yet for Sunday night. Knowing John, we probably do, but actually I don't know, so yeah, 399, so eking out that victory um, against the Dutch force actually got us a 399 wins, which is cool, I think. And we've got three more attacks, the next one is on 18, look who tripled, Groovy Tony, <laughs> last video I made, or second to last video I guess I made little bit of fun with him, uh, fun of him, <laughs> but this time he comes in with a very nice triple. Now it's all in good fun, like we've always gotten along pretty well and uh, he's of course pretty trolly also and uh, really fun guy, I'm really happy to have him back. So yeah, he comes in right here with the Suicide Queen, Monster Kill Squad and then just a couple of back end loons and back end hawks. Pretty interesting attack, you guys will be able to see that. A huge core right here and that just yeah is asking for a big kill squad I guess that's at least what he thought so AQ comes in right here funnels one side one side of the base a uh, very cheap um, with only the Queen Hound CC so he must have known otherwise he probably wouldn't have suicided his Queen I don't know though like I didn't keep up with this war at all actually uh, this the battle day for this one happened uh, was on my birthday so I came in with, I don't know, three hours left in war or something and actually YOLO'd uh, four L Town 11 attacks. And that's, I'm also going to take that as an excuse for why I failed to two star an 11. <laughs> Honestly, it's so bad. Like, I haven't even told the, the guys yet, but I didn't even look at the scout. I just, I had a Queen Walk Witch Lab and I was like, all right, I'm going to two star this one and then whatever get on with the celebrations or whatever and yeah fail <laughs> failed an 11 v 11 2 star hmm. had I known it it was a hard CC I definitely would have done something different but yeah Tony as you can see um, actually killed all the air targeting defenses so his four backhand loons coming in so valuable and I thought this was a really fun attack to watch so yeah that's that one and then we actually for you channel 9 lovers out there of course I'm gonna hook you guys up tonight aka tomorrow with the next uh, whale watching video but for this one we actually have two channel 9 attacks as well and those are on number 27 right here the one and only grey worm coming in with a very nice queen george lalo and then we've got another one coming up after this I, sh I need to figure something out with my tablet where do i put it guys it's should i I think this is a bit better, like previously I was always looking down so much like that. Um, I don't know what to do, we'll see, we'll, we'll figure something out. So, Grey Worm coming in right here kills the enemy queen first of all, then his queen is gonna make her way in, beautiful wall break there as well, gets that wizard tower out of the way, gets the expo out of the way, 
uh, next wall breakers are going to be coming in. They are going to be opening up the next wall. Rage spell, B king walk, the kiwi walk actually grabbing uh, or helping out with the, with the teslas here, tanking the teslas. So certainly very nice kiwi walk. The Weezys are going to help out with the defensive uh, skeleton trap and their air, the clan castle, so that's really nice. And then look at this charge, like, he's basically got access to uh, everything except, uh, of course, the air defenses. But then again, it's not always important to charge air defenses in a La Luna attack, because, like, whenever you get so much uh, other value, um, yeah, that's also going to be very nice. Um, and yeah, you don't even need air defense. So, takes out the cannon. Now look at the pathing that he has set up for himself. AQ is going to be grabbing one more sweeper here, and then he's got three haste spells to uh, take care of the rest of the space. And look at the queen. She's going to be making her way in. She's actually going to be taking out the second expo as well. So, such a nice queen charge, and that basically sets him up. And I just think a beautiful attack. So. Why not show it, right? Why not show it? So, one haste spell left is going to be dropping that, I think, for the wizard towers. I'm not quite sure. At this point, he's got he's lost uh, all his lava balance, which is not very surprising, considering he went up against four air defenses, but the loons are going to be able to take out these final defenses. Um, the wizard tower, uh, yeah, only just outlasting the wizard tower, but queen and king and the minions probably would have wrapped it up anyway, so that's that one. Then we've got number 30. I gotta just got to put my sheet of paper elsewhere, I think. Groovy Birdman. I don't know if this account was renamed or if he... I think this was renamed recently, if I, I remember correctly. I don't always keep up with all the social chats. But <laughs> I think Birdman, this is, I think, a second line. I'm not quite sure. But I think he recently renamed it, um, making some fun with Tony. I don't know. And yeah, it's now called Groovy Birdman, and Groovy Birdman is coming in with a uh, Shattered Goho right here, a Max Golem from the Clan Castle. Interesting choice there to uh, rock the Golem and not bring CC Hawks, but I guess he did it because the enemy BK is there and it's doing quite a bit of damage. Also two Teslas and Expo, so safe to say that Golem is taking quite a bit of heat, so maybe it was a smart choice. And he's got uh, 30 Hawks of his own, of course. So yeah. Those are going to be making their way in and looking good, certainly looking good. A uh, nice uh, angle that he's using here for his for the enemy CC to pull his troops into the middle of the base, to take out of course the enemy queen, another expo, eliminate some spring trap locations, all that good stuff like just overall grabbing value and then he's going to be hogging from this side over there if I remember correctly, but I think I do. Uh, even gets a giant bomb triggered with a couple of mini bombs right there. Another giant bomb goes off, another mini bomb. I don't know, was that a hawk killer trap? I'm not sure. Everybody defending against hawks, of course, but with the queen triggering two giant bombs right there, there's not too, too much left for this base. And also, if I remember correctly, he is going to be swagging a heal spell. We'll see. We'll find out here on the channel shortly, guys. But yeah, pretty sure he swagged his heal spell. Got uh, two wizzies down for cleanup. Uh, no buildings in the corner, so... Uh, no real need to bring anything other than a couple of wizards right there, which he is doing. So, beautiful. We're going to go times four for the rest of this one, guys, because it's pretty much all over. So, yeah, great job to Groovy Birdman for this one. I had to put that in a video. I actually did not put it in because of his name. I really like the attack. But uh, I think that's... I always like the funny names. Like, also, pr probably a little bit retarded, but whenever I see these nuts, that also cracks me up. Whatever. The Tripler. Man, we've got the Tripler. Do we have any, any any other funny names? We've got the Tripler on the other side. The Maestro. Okay. Um, for you, for those of you that are still watching, in the comment section, let me know who is the Maestro. Or who's... Now, if I say anything else, I'm going to give it away already. Who is the Maestro? The um, first person to guess it right in the comment section... Uh, if you want me to, I will visit your clan and do one war with you. The first person who guesses, and war with guys, Sparta guys, stay away, it's not fun if you guess it. Uh, the first person to guess it correct in the comment section, or to find out and post in the comment section, I don't care. Who is the maestro, post it, and I'll visit your clan and do a war if you want me to. Thierry, alright, is that Thierry Henry? I'm not sure. Um, Ruel, Warpro, alright. 
The Silent Night, that's also quite a fun one. Quite uh, intimidating. Imagine a Silent Night, guys. It's uh, pretty scary. Con, con, con War Pro, I'm pretty sure that's Dutch for not a uh, war professional. <laughs> that's also quite funny. Vincent, that's always an interesting name. Um, Mortar, alright. Blue Hazard, interesting. Sieur, okay, so. Apparently Thierry, Thierry has uh, two accounts, Sir Thierry is also there. That's a Dutch name for sure. Ooh. That's, that used to be Amsterdam's account and I was, I was, I would be curious if Amsterdam is still playing that account. It definitely used to be his account uh, from DL back in the day. If you know that, let me know in the comments. And... Runkbunker, that also has to be a Dutch name. Alright, anyways, guys, enough of the fun shit war against the Dutch force, but also shit war from them, so that leveled out. Still shout out to you guys, um, you know, the, the yellow and black clean, clean, clan shield, I love it, uh, the colors of my favorite football team. And actually of one half, but we're not going to talk about that. Guys, it's going to do it for this one, thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to tonight's whale watching, hopefully it will be a good one. Maybe I'll also do a planning and attacking live. I'm going to be attacking somebody familiar on the DLZ side in SL. So lots of stuff coming up. And also the greatest video in the recent past on my channel is uh, edited, rendered. It's going to release next week. So stay tuned for that. And then until that time, the captain will see you all later. Peace out.